Okay, hi you guys. So I normally do that before I do um I do a frequency clearing before I work around my crystals. So th in this video I'm gonna show you my portable travel spiritual kit. I don't go nowhere without it. It's very few places I go without it. Especially after, you know, the journey this past, you know, decade. <laughs> I've learned some things, honey. And some of the stuff I've been using and didn't even know it was actual spiritual, you know, tools and things. So first thing first, I always keep a knife and a blade. Honey, it's just, it's good for protection, especially if you're a young woman out here. Because, of course, you know, rape culture is still real. You know, over-sexualized, hyper-sexualized, you know, society is still active, unfortunately. So a blade, but also it's for different purposes. And I'll make another video on why uh, why I normally keep this. Also, I keep a a smaller little uh, legal size pocket knife, and also I carry uh, an antique knife that belonged to my great grandfather. So this will be another video why I carry this particular one. Other than protection, it is good for other purposes as well, especially spiritually. Um, that aren't, you know, super occult. <laughs> so the first thing first is I normally do my spritzes in the morning. Either before I leave uh, home to go to work or out in public. Or I normally, um, I'll get to work. And as you can see, the bottles have been worn to death. I need to change bottles. Uh, probably the first half of next month. Um, as you can see, this one's labeled Florida water. So this is your regular Florida water. I have them actually right here. As you can see, boom, this is everything. Sage spray in a bottle. Is this Jesus Yahshua in a bottle? Whatever you know, baptism in a bottle, <laughs> demon repellent in a bottle. Everything it does. Everything you can use it for cleansing, purification purposes. I mean, smudging. You name it. And also now this right here is something different. I've seen this. I've been researching different things, and actually made this one myself, sorta with two ingredients. Well, three three items, but two ingredients. I use a mini clear coarse raw clear coarse crystal, and I use a different one, which is I actually found this actually. Um, I found well actually you know what, it's three ingredients before four pieces to do this. Um, I used two different other ones. Actually, I bought my um, Florida water on Amazon, and I end up actually getting the um, from a different brand. Actually, the um, Destroy Everything Cologne. This stuff works. When I tell you, it's uh, by Crisella, Crisella and Co. Inc. I mean, from Miami, Florida. I mean, this right here, similar to the similar to the Florida water, but very different. Talking about repel some stuff from you. This will repel literally Lucifer himself from you temporarily. Temporarily, but it works. Especially if you're an empath. This has worked wonders for me. I cannot kiss this bottle enough. <laughs> so I do. They don't They don't have a larger quantity. So you have to buy this bottle. And this particular bottle is 7 fluid ounces. But I take a little bit of this. A clear quartz crystal. And also I take a little bit of this. And this is the... I'm going to butcher this name, but Kanaga, Kanaga water. And this is actually used for offerings and things in your altar and just different stuff like that. And it has that kind of pretty orangey color. So they're similar to the Florida waters, but each one, I had to really research this. There's not a whole lot of information on this, but I do know that you, uh, you put this on your offering as um, your altar as offerings and different things like that. And you can use it for different, um, different purposes, which I'm going to show probably in the next video I'm about to make. But yeah, but these two right here. And I do have a ratio, so I will show. Once I get to the end of this bottle, I'll, I'll make another batch, and I'll definitely record that. This has saved me, <laughs> especially when you work. If you work around a lot of people, Florida water, and if you don't have Florida water, those these other two actually. There's actually more I found, but those are the ones I wanted to try so far. But honey, this has saved me from all kinds of you know negative energy and entities and other little you know, low-level vibrational, you know, people and stuff coming around you and all that type of stuff. This has repelled. And sometimes I'll spray both. So I may use this one in the morning. And then after I get in from, like, lunch or something like that from my break, I, I spritz myself down with Florida water. But, honey, this right here, honey, yes, <laughs> perfect. I love it. And it works, I mean, instantly. Like, literally instantly. And I'll show how I normally use this right here once I make it. So, other than those two, I definitely start with those. 
and also I have my crystals and this one I just got actually and this is actually the pendulum my first no this is my second pendulum I hadn't had a pendulum since um shoes I think I was a teenager I got my first pendulum and I hadn't had one since I don't know what took me so long but this is a lapis lurie I think I didn't butcher that one Archangel Michael gave um, King Solomon actually this particular stone in his breastplate before he went to war and the energy I've always loved this blue um, this blue color period is the royal blue and also of course you know that's Michael's color to my knowledge from research this is one of his colors but this is his particular stone one of several but this is like the Archangel stone um, this is Michael stone so there's still more I'm still researching some more different stuff but it's so pretty this is actually a, a early I gave this to, to myself as an early birthday present so I got my first with well, my second pendulum my first one in a long time and it comes in this little carry case so I love that one um, let's see also these right here not a spiritual thing but I mean if you're going through the spiritual journey I've been through you know about Honey, especially if you're around a lot of negative energy and stuff like that, you know it can affect your health. It can affect your emotions and different things like that. Especially if you are an empath, you will pick up on some stuff quicker than other people. These are Jin Jins. These are the chewy ginger candies. These are the original. I actually accidentally ordered this particular one. I actually wanted the other one, but these taste really good. You can also make a tea with them too. So I keep them in my um, keep them in my little um, travel bag and I keep them in my purse as well just you know in case you know you just never know you just never know when someone's sending you something to you or it's cold it's still cold in flu season you just never know especially if you are an empath keep you some type of something immune booster vitamin c something something but this right here i mean definitely big immune system boost so i love it you can eat it as is or you can actually uh brew it as a tea actually and drink it so it's like multiple purposes and it's good for you, especially the ladies. It's good for your reproductive system. It's, it's more than just your immune system. Okay, then also I have my natural sea salt. And there's different purposes I use this with. I mean, you throw it over your shoulder. You can, um, we sage where I work. So I sage, and, I, and just in case, you know, I may sprinkle a little bit. And sometimes I actually, um, I get to minister to people. So I actually keep it just in case I need to share it with them. Especially when you need to purify a room, especially if you're dealing with negative energy entities and different stuff like that. So that's another video I shall, you know, eventually guide myself to make. <laughs> eventually. Okay, so another thing before I get to this part right here. I'm going to get this because this is sticking out to me the most. Um, I normally keep like petition papers and different things with me. Normally I have like a little box I carry, but I don't put it in this bag. And I stopped carrying it in my purse because I have too much stuff. I have books and everything in there. <laughs> so normally I keep affirmations and different things. Like I said, I get to minister to people. So um, think about the candle, ma like candle magic or candle manifestation or just even uh, doing using it for like meditation and prayer. There are different affirmations and things I like to share with people. So this is one of them, how to charge your candles. And also I have like just different things I normally keep. Like I keep something. And this actually came to with my candle. I love this particular company because they do include like um, an affirmation to help bless the candles and anoint the candles. And this right here, this particular affirmation is um, just really, it's just like really, um, it's from the Crystal Journey candles. That's like my favorite brand of candles to buy from Amazon, especially because they're Reiki charged candles. Uh, my black candle and a couple other candles that I've used. I normally get the black candle because the Reiki energy from that bad boy as far as like protecting yourself and especially if you're doing uh, spiritual altar work or even prayer meditations and just different things like that. It helps a whole lot. Those candles are like perfect. They come automatically charged but I still anoint and bless the candles. And they give you like this um, this prayer, this affir well, affirmation prayer to kind of uh, speak. As you can see it has been through the ringer. I keep it just to share with people. Also this is something else I am going to teach the Joss paper. This right here is uh, ancestor money. They call them heaven notes or hell notes. And there's a history behind that, so don't let the name scare you. But I keep these just to kind of show um, as a display. Also, I do burn um, my Joss paper sometimes in the morning. Sometimes I may do two in the morning, two at night. Or if I forget, I normally keep one here. <laughs> well, I normally keep a couple in here, but it's just one. I use this one as just like a teaching tool. Um, and also, like, I, I burn two in the morning, two at night, or I do four at, in the morning, or I do four at night. 
just depending on my schedule and how it is. But I normally keep this, this particular one I keep just as reference and like a teaching tool. Like I said, I get to teach my spirituality where I work actually, which is pretty neat and pretty cool. Okay, and that's that part right there. So I normally keep nice little affirmations and notes. Um, also the Joss paper, that's another tool, the pens. You can use red ink or you can use green ink and I will definitely show how to use the Joss paper. Um, especially if you're clearing out karmic debt and things like that, you're normally going to use red ink or green ink. Normally the green ink is for uh, manifestation in a positive way, and then the red ink is to clear out karmic debt and diff different other you know, uh, negative balances and whatever, dealing with the Joss paper, which is the ancestor money. Okay, of course, we've got the elements. Fire, it's a little tea light candle. I normally keep a little baggie with these, a couple of these in it, but they kind of get messed up, so I'm just going to start keeping like maybe one or two in there. So you have this right here, especially if you want to just pray and meditate. And normally I pray and meditate at work or or if I'm out somewhere and I can get a little, you know, a long time, a quiet space where I can actually light something like this up. Uh, I'll light it. Um, let's see what else is in here. Okay, anointing protection oil. I keep this right here and I'm learning how to make my own. And this one right here is actually a crossbreed. It started uh, as the Art of the Root protection oil so i kept the herbs and I actually added my own oils and stuff to it so technically you know i was a co-creator of this particular bottle <laughs> and um i keep it i anoint myself protect especially when it, you know it's, it's it's some bad energy bad energy is coming around you know i normally anoint it myself so like i said this is a prayer oil blessing oil and uh, a protection oil so we have that one also let's see we have charged water I have some elements. Like I said, the elements. I keep the elements around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, charge water. I made this one myself. This is a um, upcycled bottle. <laughs> a recycled bottle, rather. And I love the little bottle. I had to keep this one. It's just specifically for this. So this is charge water. I already have a video on this particular one. Um, how to make charge water. This particular one was made, I think, under... It was lightning. So this this is like a supercharged water. I think it was lightning when I made this particular batch. So that is another topic to, to discuss later. Um, also, Palio Santos, as you can see, this has been through the ringer. <laughs> it, it's, I'm actually going to throw this one away. I have actually a new pack, and they're bigger. So I, I want to just kind of use this one up. But this one is so raggedy now. <laughs> it's so raggedy. And I use this one at work. And like I said, it removes. That's a whole other um, video as well. It removes, um, it, it kind of ignites new, fresh energy. It's good for protection and different things like that. It's, it's similar to the sage, but it ignites more so new energy. And that's one reason I do like it, but I do prefer the sage and cedar sage and um, Florida water and different smudge, other smudging products. But I like the the, um, the Palo Santos or Santa Pala. And like I said, here's some more, here's some more crystals. Clear quartz crystals. I probably will do a video eventually once I kind of, you know, finish my research on crystals, which is probably it's an infinite thing. But this is probably one of my favorite ones. It's the clear quartz crystal. It's so old. I'm actually trying to find some new ones. I want some raw cut ones. As you can see, this one's old. It's so old. It's so bit up, but it's still still got a good charge to it. So I'm gonna keep using it until the wheels fall off. Um, also, sigils. Something else I'm gonna teach. AKA the angel language, <laughs> the spiritual language. This right here is something I actually ended up researching and studying last year. It is very, it took me a long time to study this because it is very different. It's, it's more so a next level spiritual type of uh, research study type of particular thing because the history behind it. And um, I love it. I don't know, I've always liked, I mean, if you like symbols, you like sigils. They're, they're the same thing, but you that's one reason why symbols are so powerful. But I do like them. I don't know, I've always been attracted to, I'm attracted to certain ones, I've noticed. So that right there, I do keep these. I mean, everything from um, uh, reversing um, negative intentions. I mean, just different everything. Everything. And as you can see, I have them on wood something natural some people you can do it on paper you can do it on you know just different stuff i use the little wood tags you can get them at any craft store or any do actually dollar store now so i do carry these around as well and let's see what else is in here obsidian like i said i don't normally do the smooth stones but i did like this one like i said i normally buy stones i'm attracted to 
And normally I wear this around my neck. This is obsidian. Like I said, I'll do another video on the crystals. It is one of the protecting protecting stones. I don't normally like the smooth ones, but I did. I was attracted to this one, so I like it. So I keep it around my neck, or I keep it, you know, around my wrist or something. Okay, or in my pocket. Also, the Evil Eye Protection Stone. I have the Eye of Horus, and I have quite a few of these. I got these from Amazon, so I do bless and anoint these with different things and sage these kind of regular this one i keep them in my pouch just in case i need to hang them up somewhere or put them in my pocket so i mean it does work i do say that it does work but i do say like i said the crystals work a little bit better for me um also last thing is a mirror i mean there's different spiritual purposes for a mirror especially when it comes to hi <laughs> you see my face <laughs> um I mean, everything from, you know, affirmations. I normally used to do the mirror affirmations and different things. And also there's different spiritual, um, different spiritual magic things you can do with this. Unfortunately, there are some bad things you can do with it. So you have to be really careful with this. But normally I use this for affirmations um, and just different stuff like that. And so I keep a mirror. Boom. I actually like mirror manifestations. But you have to be really careful with it because it can ricochet and go left. <laughs> it can ricochet and go left if you're not, you know, within alignment of divine and all that good stuff, right? So that is my travel altar. Actually, there's other stuff I used to keep. Some of the other crystals behind me I used to keep in here. The rose quartz and just different stuff like that. And I got my new baby, my healing stone. I got that one out. And I normally used to keep like little uh, incense cones or little, you know, herbs and stuff in there as well to put with the candle and burn um there's, there's so many different things you can do um shoot everything from like um shells just different things different parts of elements of the of of uh, different elements of nature basically i normally keep those in the pouch alongside some protecting pieces and different stuff like that so that is it that is it that thank you for watching this video hopefully you have learned something in particular and thank you for watching